Hi everyone and welcome back to Fenton Forest. We're now in day two on our new farm and our soybeans are ready to be harvested. Um, I fast forwarded, well I didn't fast forward, I slept through the night. Um, I did have to de-weed things so I ran through here with the sprayer. Um, it was actually early morning uh, game time today. So now it's uh, almost 4.30 in the afternoon and it's time to get this harvest going. So let's see what we get out of this field from soybeans. We'll just set a worker on it. And we'll go pick up a vehicle to haul the grain away. Uh, I think we'll use the New Holland for that this time. Uh, before I do that though, I just want to show you how neatly I have arranged my vehicles so that you can bear witness before I start driving off and doing 20 different things. Um, there are our GPS lines, which I actually want to turn off. Okay. Um, so it seems that turning those GPS lines on and off is not is not a permanent condition. You have to do it every time you start up the game. Uh, it would be awesome if they can update the mod so that it remembers your last setting. But for now, I'm just happy to have it in any state. Okay. So we'll get our TAW30 tipper. and head out to the field. The soybeans shouldn't require emptying terribly soon. Wow, the wool is actually coming along pretty well. I've got almost four bales in there already. I haven't seen any eggs yet. So I'm getting a little concerned about those chickens. Okay. So this guy's ready to go. Let's see how the harvester's doing. Okay. Yeah, so one pass. Close to 4,000 liters. So we should be able to get about four passes before it needs to be emptied. Um... Yeah, so probably, I don't know, three or four times across the field. Um, let's take a look at our animals. Wait a minute now. Field 11 potato harvest, 66 grand. That would just take forever. Uh, we got a field 5 fertilizing contract. We got a field 4 fertilizing contract. Those both look fairly attractive. I think we'll take those. And that'll give us something else to do while we're waiting for the harvest. Okay, yeah, animals. So I wanted to check on the chickens. Um, so I've got six chickens and one rooster. And I think that what I would like to do is um, consolidate these so I only have one kind of chicken. So we got brown, black, and white. I mean, it is nice having a variety of colors, but <clears throat> they'll reproduce faster if they're all the same type. Um, so let's head over to the chicken pen and let's sell four of those chickens and then we'll buy four more so that we have all of one type of chicken and then they should reproduce faster and maybe we'll get eggs faster too. I don't know. In fact, maybe we can even buy <clears throat> a lot more chickens. Here they are. All right. So which color should we go for? 
I think I like the brown chickens the best. All right, so we'll move. White, black, we'll keep the two browns. Okay, and then we'll take some more brown ones. Let's just get a thousand dollars worth of chickens. How's that? There we go. <clears throat> and I think the I think the eggs are supposed to show up here. Okay, so now we got a decent amount of chickens there. Uh, I don't know if their productivity rate is updated yet. I think not. Um. Pigs are doing okay. We've got 11 pigs, which I think is one or two more than we started with. I think we had nine at the beginning. Maybe it was 10. They're doing fine. Sheep are doing fine. One black one. I like that. Uh, chickens remain to be seen. We've got about 1,500 liters of milk. And mixed ration is slowly disappearing, so we'll need to we'll need to look into making some more mixed ration soon. Now <clears throat> we could also uh, just feed them hay for a while, hay and silage, and we'll still get eighty percent productivity out of them. Uh, so that could be an option too. And then our horses are all now at fifteen percent, and um, and worth more money than they were yesterday. So they'll increase, I think, 10% per day, or maybe it's 15% per day. I forget what percentage they started at. Okay. Um, let's empty that now, since we've already got the pipe on the right side, or on the correct side, I should say, which is the left side. <laughs> Not to be confused with the right side. <laughs> See if I can do this from in cab. Oh, a little bit further. There we go. Um, after I planted the corn, the corn is not ready to harvest yet, by the way. It still needs, it's a stage behind the soybeans. Um, but once I finished uh, planting the corn, I think that's it. Um, once I finished planting the corn, I returned the least planter and then I just purchased it. So that's why we're down to only $11,000 right now. And uh, there's our field of corn. I think it needs one more state before it'll be ready to harvest, which is fine, we can wait. Okay, um, let's set off on our fertilizing contracts. And then we can start cleaning up the animal troughs while we're doing the fertilizing and harvesting. Try to get a better view of the hitch here. Get that lined up. There we go. I think I will top off the supply of fertilizer before we leave. But I'm pretty sure that one load will be enough for both contracts. Um, and I did put, <coughs> pardon me, I did put narrow tires on both of these pieces of machinery. Okay, the contracts were on four and five, which sounds like they're close by to each other. Yeah, okay, so four is over across from the shop. That's where we were doing 
our harvesting contract. Um, you know what I think I'd like to do at some point? I may, I may sell the T6. I'd like to get at least one of the two JCB tractors. Maybe a bigger one would be good for carting grain. Um, but for doing fertilizer contracts, you know, where I'm running all over the map, I think having a tractor with a high top speed would be nice to have. 53 is not bad. Uh, the Fent has a speed of, let's see, where am I going? Okay, I need to go further. Um, the Fent has a speed of 63, and then the the two JCB tractors, I think they're 70, maybe they're even more, maybe they're 80, I, I don't recall. Here, let's put it on cruise control and take a look, hopefully before I crash. Um, 62, is that it? Huh, I thought it was faster than that. Maybe it's just the bigger one that's faster. Okay, well, if it's only 62, maybe I'll just keep the T6. It's been in the family for a while. Plus, my workers get paid by the hour, so I think they would probably... The, the workers would be a little bit happier with a slightly slower machine. They could charge me more. Okay, this is field four right here. I don't think that is the proper entrance, but so be it. Um... Let's do, let's do course play on this one. Go to the advanced mode. We want field four. Let's do one headland. I'll leave everything else automatic. Looks good to me. Go make it happen. Now, one of the wonderful things about having course play and guidance steering, or the GPS mod, it's called guidance steering now, um, is that you can now do fertilizing at night, <laughs> and you can figure out uh, where to put your machine to get coverage. It was pretty much impossible before, because you couldn't see where you've already applied things. If you use a sprayer, it's easier because the arms, you know, are exactly where the stuff's going to get applied. But, okay, great. And uh, keep our fingers crossed that nothing bad happens. Okay. Let's go ahead and unload again since we're here and we have a few moments. And then we'll get in our telehandler and scoop up the food. And then we can think about starting to prep these fields again. Get ready for the next crop. So with the soybeans, I think uh, I think on the first load I will top off the pigs. Um, yeah, they're running low on soy canola slash sunflowers, so I'll just fill them fill them up with soybeans when I drive past. And I think I can get. 
it's either 90 or 95 percent productivity without potatoes or sugar beets so i think i'll probably just feed them that way um so the pigs will be probably the easiest the pigs and the chickens will be the easiest to be to keep fed because we can just you know feed them out of the crop that we're already growing um the sheep and the horses and the cows are going to require grass and uh that's something that we need to i think that's something that we need to start looking at uh right now um So the simplest thing, of course, would be for me just to get a mower and mow around the edges of the fields. And if I had mowing equipment and a tether, then that's really all that I need to get started. Uh, because with the grass, I can feed... With raw grass, I can feed the sheep and I can make silage. And with the hay, I can feed the horses and the cows. So let's take a look in the shop and see what those sorts of things would cost us. So a simple mower... And we've got high-speed mowers by Stevie over here. Um, but I'm going to resist the tent, and they're less expensive too. Are they? No, they're not. Um, I think I'd like to use the Laley mowers this time, though, just because <clears throat> I used the Pottingers on the last map. Um, the Laleys are slightly wider. Not by a lot. goes out to 9 meters on the rear and 3.2 on the front. Horsepower requirements are just a bit more as well. Um, now the Laleys, I'm not sure if you can. I'm not sure if you can stack them together, but I don't care about that because I, I don't really like driving them that way anyway. Um, now the other option, of course, would be to get aggressive and get the Krona. And use this for our mowing. Uh, and that's a very tempting option for $380,000. Especially since we don't have any loan right now. We could easily get the money. Um, and this will even windrow at the same time. It will not, it won't make hay though. So to make hay, we would still need a tether. And then we would need a windrower for the hay. So either way, we're going to need a tether and a windrower when it comes time for hay. But for picking up grass, this can this can mow and this can cut the grass and put it all in a nice row for us. Hmm. What shall we do? How much was that? Three eighty. Uh, Three eighty plus. Eh. I don't think it's a good idea. <clears throat> I really don't need that much grass right now. Let's hold off on that. So we'll get the Laleys. That'll be sixty-nine grand, and then, you know, we'll need another twenty, fifty grand for the, for the tether. So let's just. I'll borrow a hundred thousand, and we'll be able to. We'll be we'll be able to pay it once, you know, once we finish our harvest here. So, again, we'll just. This is kind of like we're just buying something on the American Express card. <clears throat> we'll be paying it at the end of the month. We're not going to keep uh, a long-term balance because I did I did promise to you guys. Well, I didn't promise, but I did state that we were going to try to make this uh, an all-cash operation, more or less. 
So we're going to try to do this without carrying any loans for more than, or let's just say we're not going to carry any loans overnight. And that way we won't get charged the interest. Um, but I can, I'm going to retain my ability to do uh, some short-term bridges like this. Okay, so we'll buy that. We'll buy that. And then we need a Teta. Which one did I have last time? Okay, so there's one by Stevie. The Stevie version goes 27 kph versus 19. Let's get Stevie's version. Why not? And you can change the colors too. Uh, does that normally come in green? No, that normally comes in yellow. I do prefer the yellow. So let's change that. Um, I'm guessing it's the John Deere yellow. Yeah, that looks better. I don't have to pay extra for that. <laughs> Okay, whatever. So there's the tether, and then we need a windrower as well for hay. Now this one is rather interesting. This doesn't require any power. I mean, it's not, well, it says 35, but it's actually not powered. Um, it's just, it's literally a rake that you drag across the ground. Um, but it's not very wide. It's 8.5 wide. Uh, the Merge Max would be cool, but that's too expensive. Um, okay, well, we do have a Lely. Whoa, I spent all my money already. I don't have enough money for that cred. Um, 9.3, 9.3, 14.8. Hmm. Okay, let's get the coon by Stevie. I think he's I think he wants to make these John Deere colored. Which I can understand. A lot of people have been anxious for John Deere stuff. Um I'll make it case red. Cause that's the color that I like. I actually like the oh yeah, I don't have enough money. Okay, I need to borrow a tad more cash. I don't remember how much it cost. Okay, so now we have what we need for mowing. So we can start collecting some grass. Let's get ready to empty this harvester again. Because it's almost full. And we should probably check. We should probably check on our contract vehicle. How are we doing here? Oh, okay, looks like it's almost done. Doing an outstanding job. Alright, so hopefully it'll get to the point that it can turn around before it fills up. I think I might... I might try turning down my graphic settings just a touch on this map um, to see if I can get the frame rate back up. I 
I just upgraded my graphics card recently. Um, it wasn't a massive upgrade. I've got a, a 1070 GTX, I believe now. <clears throat> um, which I got a good deal on. Uh, the thing I, you know, so it's not, it's definitely not cutting edge, but uh, it's a lot better than the 980 that I had before. And it's much quieter too, which I love. I, I really like to have a nice, quiet computer system. Uh, fan noise really bothers me. So, um, so I've got settings mostly maxed out, and then I have a 1440p monitor, you know, 27-inch Acer monitor with G-Sync. And um, you know, after playing games at at 60 FPS or more for such a long time um, I can really I can really notice the difference when I'm not when I'm not getting that same frame rate okay so that's done we'll remove that course at least I think I did no course loaded okay but I can still see it on the field. That's what makes me nervous. Because in the old version of course play, that would disappear once you unloaded the course. So the fact that it's still there makes me wonder if my tractor is just going to drive off on its own like it did <clears throat> a couple episodes ago when I tried course play. All right, so let's go to field five, and if that has a um, if that has a simpler shape, then I'll just use the hired worker rather than course play. All right, so five is on the other side of the town. Just down here, I think. Um, how do we get into it? I suppose we'll have to go over this way. Uh, hmm. No, there's water there. Oh, okay. There's the entrance. I didn't see it. All right, let's back it in. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that, but... Yeah. That worked out well. All right, and there's already a shed here, so if you decided to buy the field, you can keep some of your equipment right next to the field, which would be great. So if you were going to use this field, let's say, for root crops or, or grass... You could do that. And this is a nice rectangular field, so the plain vanilla hired worker will do just fine on this one. Actually, let me stop it, and I'm going to get over a little bit further because I want to make sure that the worker doesn't get confused about which direction to turn when he gets to the end of the field. Okay. So let's um, let's get our new equipment delivered. And by deliver, I mean reset it. Okay. But before we start mowing. We need to clean up our sloppy animals. And we'll start over here with the horses. I don't think I've had to actually clean anything on the horses yet. Maybe the horses don't get dirty. I mean, you do have to brush the horses. Um, but maybe they don't throw food which is fine by me. 
I don't really, honestly, I don't really like doing this part. Um, now in 17, there was a mod, and there might be one for 19 out too. I haven't checked. But in 17, there was a mod called Animal Table Manners. And it would... It, it essentially just removed this mechanic from the game. So the animals would never get dirty. There would never be anything to clean up. And they were always at 100% cleanliness. Um, and I almost always use that mod. Because this, this part of the game for me is not terribly compelling. So maybe I'll look for that mod if nobody objects. Or something like it just to uh, avoid having to do this task. Now we'll still need the telehandler for for moving silage. Um, you know, once we have enough manure to sell, we'll wanna, we'll wanna load it into a, a trailer and take it to the BGA. So, um, so we'll still be using, we'll still be using the telehandler even if we don't have to do this particular activity. Okay, and I think that's it. Let's go park it. So I'm not sure if we're gonna... Oh, we gotta do the chickens too. I'm not sure if we're gonna have time to finish the soybeans and get them sold. I think we're getting... We've already hit our, our time. Well, it's not really a limit, but I try to keep these episodes between 30 and 40 minutes. And we've already hit 30, so I think we might have to wait until the next episode to sell the soybeans. Um, yeah, and it's uh, it's actually getting late in the day, too. It's, um, it's almost 5 o'clock. You can see that the sun's getting low. And the corn's not ready yet. And I have a feeling that by the time the corn is ready, it's going to be dark outside. And I don't like working in the dark. So um, I think more than likely uh, what I will be doing is finishing the soy harvest um, we will put it in the silo so that you all can bear witness to the sale. <laughs> and I'm sorry I keep using that phrase, bear witness. <sighs> it's in my head because of, um, because of that weird Al Yankovic song. He does a parody of, what is it, I'm so, I'm so fancy or whatever. Anyway, it's called I'm so handy and he uses that phrase and I find it hilarious. I mean, not that phrase in particular, but the song in general is very funny. I think Weird Al is a comedic genius. And I'm being completely serious. He's a, an extremely funny guy. Okay, so let's get this back to the field. We'll need to empty soon again. And then when I'm all done, I'll load up the truck and go sell it. Um, I should be able to get enough to pay to pay back that, that money that I borrowed for the mowing equipment. Um, and then tomorrow we can harvest the corn and we can do some mowing. 
Um, I'll probably I'll probably fertilize this field. I can do that at night. Let's see. What's this going to need? Yeah, it doesn't need anything except fertilizer now. So, um, oh, you know what? No, I don't want to fertilize. I'm because I'm, I'm just going to seed first, and then we'll need to fertilize after the first growth stage. Um, because we're not going to be working, we're not going to be working the soil at all until we seed. And the combined, you know, the seeders and planters that apply fertilizer. It seems that in the game, the way that they work is they put down the fertilizer first and then the seed. So that prevents us from applying a layer of fertilizer and then using that equipment. Um, and the reason it doesn't work is because you have to change, you know, not to get too technical, but you have to change the state of the field in between fertilizer applications. Um, before you can apply more. So that means seeding. Um, that means a change in the growth state. Um, it could mean plowing or cultivating. You know, you have to do something to the field after you fertilize once before you can fertilize a second time. And because it puts in the fertilizer first instead of after, um, if your field is already fertilized, then all the fertilizer that you put down with your seeder just gets wasted because it won't have any effect. Um, but now that I've said that, can I put fertilizer immediately after I seed it? Maybe I should be able to do that. We can try it, but let's try it. Okay, so that'll be an experiment for us to try um, on this next crop cycle. I'll seed that field with the fertilizer, and then I'll try to put fertilizer on before it starts to grow and see if it takes. But I, oh, <laughs> pardon me, sir. Um, it's, uh, very soon I'm going to be turning traffic off <laughs> just to prepare you all. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, these crazy drivers in Fenton forest. Um, oh yeah. I, I was going to say that I, I feel like I've tried that before and it didn't work, but, um, but my memory's a little bit fuzzy on that. So we'll try it again and see what happens. I'm just going to cut through the trees here. If I didn't hate trying to handle logs so much, I would be tempted to cut down these trees um, just to have a clear path. Looks like the harvester needs emptying again. Or as I say in some parts of the United States, it needs emptied. I think that's like a Pennsylvania, Ohio sort of a thing. And before anybody from those states criticizes me or accuses me of getting on their case, I have family from Pennsylvania, so I'm poking fun at myself just as much as I am any of you. <laughs> and if I got the region wrong, then feel free to let me have it. Okay, well, that's going to do it for today, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.